Now, ladies and gentlemen, the episode of Bioshock with quite possibly the least amount of commentary in any game that I've ever done, ever. So just prepare to not enjoy my luscious, deep, sex-licious voice as I just nudge the, <laughs> the camera stand. What? Does your master hear me? Atlas? You can kill me, but you will never have my city. My strength is not in steel and fire. That is what the parasites will never understand. A season for all things. A time to live and a time to die. A time to build and a time to destroy. <laughs> Is that it? Or is Atlas gonna chime in with this little oh now, just kidding. One final thing to discuss. Okay, so we're gonna go talk to Andrew Ryan in a second, but Atlas will chime in with the haven't you people ever heard of closing the goddamn door. Alright, you said it man! Okay, so now that we've got ourselves the uh, audio diary, we can go ahead and use that. Su Chong! This guy's an asshole, by the way. Okay, so Su Chong's kind of this, kind of this experimental asshole. He's the oh my god! Wait, what the hell? Advanced deployment, lot one eleven. Doctor Su Chong, client Fontaine Futuristics. Baby is now a year old. Weighs fifty-eight pounds. And possesses gross musculature of a fit nineteen-year-old. The results are. Wow, that's kind of creepy, man. But no, oh man, this this one right here, this one's got the feels on it, man. God, he sounds so like overjoyed at that, and that was an incredibly oh god, let's get the hell out of here. That was overly realistic, I think. I, I, oh god, I don't know. That's that's scary, man. That would you kindly phrase is deadly. Wait a second. Overcome my final defense, and now he's come to murder me. In the end, what separates a man from a slave? Money. Power? No. A man chooses. A slave obeys. What? You think you have memories. A farm. A family. An airplane. A crash. And then this place. Was there really a family? Did that airplane crash? Or was it hijacked? Forced down. Forced down by something less than a man. Something bred to sleepwalk through life until they are activated by a simple phrase spoken by their kindly master. Was a man sent to kill? Or a slave? A man chooses. A slave obeys. Okay, we get it. Thank you. Thank you very much for that, Andrew Ryan. Oh, man. <sighs> what do you have to say for yourself, asshole? Stop. What Would you kindly? Ugh. Would you kindly? Powerful phrase. Familiar 
face. Would you kindly? Would you kindly get this? Would you kindly find that? Would you kindly find that? Would you kindly find that? Would you kindly get this? Would you kindly head to Ryan's office and kill the son of a bitch? What? Oh man, I thought that guy was just being nice. It's an asshole. Both these guys are assholes. Look at him. Stand. Would you kindly run? Let me bark like a cocker spaniel. A man chooses. A slave obeys. Kill! <laughs> a man chooses! What is this? Star Wars? God damn it. So in case you guys didn't notice, Ryan was technically our father, unfortunately. Oh, you got it, man. You're such a nice man. I just want to do everything for you. Okay, let's go. Let's go find that overload thing and go put the key in it because he has so kindly to us to do things very kindly. <sighs> That's kind of weird. He told us to kill him. That was weird. So self-destruct override. You have now been overridden with the card of the override variety. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh man, I wish I could have my own version of that. Oh, great. Nice work, by Thank you, thank you, subtitles. What? I really thought you were Irish, though. So notice Frank Fontaine, this guy is an asshole. This guy's a mobster. Uh, I, I liked Atlas a little bit better, but oh my god, let's take a picture a little. And did you guys notice that the bad guy in this game, he's now officially the bad guy. He is a, god damn it, fucking, uh, god, we can't, I don't think we can go through that one. Ugh. The bad guy of this game is named Fontaine, and if you guys recall a particular another variety of uh, game that I've, done a walkthrough from the past, namely Le Noir, which also takes place during this time period. Yes, we can hack these things on the mag. Uh, we gotta, oh shit, we gotta get out of here. You'll notice Fontaine is the bad guy in this one and Le Noir, and also the fact that um, I am gonna be doing something on that later. Oh, why did I make a death noise? That was very unpleasant. So I did end up buying the um, the complete edition of Le Noir, since as you guys know, my, my playthrough of the game was done on a regular uh, rented version of the disc and it did not contain the consoles car but um, I think I'm probably gonna upload that sometime before Christmas 
Uh, that's in a couple weeks, so I've been I've been kind of getting back into it a little bit. It's really kind of a lot different than I expected it, and I kind of appreciate it a lot more than when I did the project about a year and a half ago. So you guys will be seeing that along with around the time I probably start uploading these. I'm going to start before Christmas, maybe maybe at the end of the world is when I'm going to do that. And we got Tenenbaum's safe house. So yeah, Fontaine and Fontaine. I thought that was kind of funny. Uh, oh God, why are there little girls playing in front of my bed? Uh, great. My name is not James Mainyard, man. Oh, God, look at her. Look at her all smoking and shit. Why Why don't you just talk to me? Quit using your non-existential walking talkie. Ooh. You don't say. Okay, so yes, we're still under his mind constraints. And over here we got... God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> She's blonde and in a wheelchair. Okay. So we're going to be heading off to his, his flat zone. So, so save yourself from Fontaine, which we'll be doing uh, later. <laughs> it's so funny because they all say the same thing regardless of whether or not you've been like harvesting him or if you have How been... Only if you've been only harvesting. Oh, this is so funny. This part right here. Okay, so you got Pep Bar. See a little girl. Ha! <laughs> Watch this. Watch this. Are you guys ready for this? <laughs> Just eat it in front of her face like... <laughs> Pep Bar can't use any kind of weaponry in this area, unfortunately. What was I talking about? I already forgot. This next area, Olympia Heights, is probably my favorite level in this entire game. Um, it, you... It completely, I don't know about you guys, but it just completely immersed me. I completely forgot I was actually underwater at this point, which is, it's kind of, okay, thank you. <laughs> That's kind of a weird thing to say. Okay, so can you open the, why are they talking to each other with their minds? They're like all sisters. <sighs> okay, she's just fucking, she is just cross as hell, man. I mean, we're all of a sudden in the UK, she's cross. Yeah, get out of here. You, you proved your uselessness here. Okay, so here we are starting Olympia Heights. And this first part is actually kind of weird because we're in the sewers. We don't actually ever come back here again. Well, there's nothing really of interest down here, so we're going to go follow the arrow because... Oh, there he is. <laughs> Fluffy! Yeah. What? Alice is watching. That's rude. What? I don't want to do that. That is very unpleasant. Don't be so rude to me. Okay. Huh? I says, would you kindly go get stepped on by a big daddy? Uh, how about no? That does not sound very pleasant. I, I decline uh, your offer, kind sir. Seems like Mother Goose has been playing around in your eggs. Yeah. I like it when people play in my egg house. I just say egg house. <laughs> Code yellow. Code yellow. Oh! Wow, you. Ugh. Why did you do that? No, you didn't. I didn't hear you say that. Ah, God damn it. Frank Fontaine. Why are all Fontaine's assholes like a psychological fucking pricks? I mean, god damn it. Go suck a cunt, you asshole. Okay, thank you. Okay, if you want. Alright, so the start of this area, which I, you know, why does Rapture have a sewer? We're underwater. I don't know. But anyway, here we are heading out. Oh, the beautiful Olympus Heights. God damn. Oh, I hear some voices. Christ. Ugh. Eh. Okay. 